continuing our preparation for the new Timex LCA watch, we are going to revisit the Q Timex reissue Falcon Eye. So let's get right into it. Starting off with price, the Q Timex has an MSRP of $179 and you can find it online from around $179 upwards to $250. Here is the 360. It's always good to see how light falls on it because you can never truly tell what a watch looks like just from pictures. Four dimensions across the dial with the crown included about 40.5 millimeters and without the crown uh, closer to 30 probably around 38 millimeters and then for thickness we're looking at about 13 and a half millimeters for weight we're looking at 75 grams or just over two and a half ounces here is the wrist shot very delicate I do like how it looks and I do think it has an elegant feel to it so I'm not going to complain about how it looks aesthetically. As far as functions and features go, we're looking at 50 meters of water resistance. There is a day date window right here and there is loom on the indices on the chapter ring. And then on the back, you've got this quick access battery hatch right there, which is just a uh, nod of respect to the older 70s models. And then of course stainless steel case all around with a gold tone bezel which does give it a very clean look. And for the bracelet we've got a very simple but clean looking steel band and then the self adjusting clasp right here. Very easy to adjust. Um, you may have some difficulty pulling the clasp off or unlatching it in order to move it up and down but once you get it the first time you'll never forget how to do it and now let's go ahead and take a look at that loom um, loom really isn't a large selling point on this watch I mean it is there but it doesn't last for too long I really would have liked to have seen Indiglo I don't know how they would have incorporated it on it with this um, special dial design but you know something to that effect give it more of a modern touch but this is what we are left with, so I'm not going to complain. One thing I will complain about, though, is the absolutely ridiculous price, at least in my opinion. To me, I just think $179 is just a travesty or almost a crime. Um, what we've got here, in my opinion, is just an old watch made today. I can understand spending $200, $300, or $400. I mean, the sky is really the limit when it comes to vintage, original, classic timepieces. But in the case of the Q Timex reissue, there's nothing about it that's very special in any way other than the fact that it looks like something from the past. It's a glimpse of a, of a sexier, cooler time. Or that's how I interpret it. Um, Timex's advertisement for this watch. However, I cannot for the life of me see or justify the almost $200 price tag considering there's nothing much in the internals and even in the external materials that really differentiate itself from a $20 Casio. Don't get me wrong, I think that it's absolutely beautiful. I think it looks clean. The wave sunburst effect on the dial is absolutely stunning. But it's not $200 stunning. Not even $180 stunning. I think this is maybe at best an $80 timepiece. And even then, you know, I would, I would maybe look at something else. The reason why I got it is because I'm a collector. So as a collector, I feel obligated to get my hands on as many watches as possible. But for somebody out there who maybe isn't so die hard about getting as many watches as they can, you know, I would say stay clear 
from the Falcon Eye. I think perhaps the largest offender from this watch is the acrylic crystal. I think I would have been able to look past a lot of the high prices online if they would have at least put in something more durable and more scratch resistant but with the acrylic crystal um, you know this is supposed to be a beautiful good looking watch and I will tell you the one thing that makes a beautiful good looking watch not so beautiful and good looking is a scratched crystal and there's not much protection going on here um, it is I wouldn't call that domed but you know it's it's completely exposed to the elements so if you were to drop it then the first thing it's gonna land on is the crystal and I, I already have a some scratches very minor scratches but they are there and I'm quite delicate with my watches when it comes to delicate watches I treat them very well um, so those scratches came from very moderate use so that's just a a warning to you I guess if you want to call it um, that you know you can take care of it you can baby it but chances are that the scratches are going to land on the face no matter what you do granted you have to understand where I'm coming from I'm the kind of person that really focuses on value practicality and functions and features and just overall quality and you know I like to find the the best price for things and just in my experience the raw materials that you're getting with the Q Timex don't make sense to me um, but if you like the way it looks then by all means don't listen to what I'm saying because you can't put a price on joy and if a watch gives you joy then you know you can't go wrong with it it's a reliable quartz watch it'll tell the time but for me personally I cannot in good conscience recommend a watch that costs the same as a decent very respectable mid-range Seiko or Citizen so long story short what we have here is an absolutely good looking handsome and elegant watch that just doesn't match my standard for value and now I really hope I didn't upset any one of you if you own this watch then again like I said before it's great quality reliable quartz watch but just at that price range I you know I can't recommend it so that's all I got to say for now I hope that this video helps you with your next watch purchase I hope that you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later bye